Thank you very much for, for being here. Uh, my name is Azul, and I'll show you how to use TimeGPT. So let me open a new window to start uh, coding. To make uh, things more interesting, imagine that you uh, sell electricity, and you want to know uh, how, how much electricity will be demanded in the next, I don't know, maybe 40, uh, 24 hours, the next, the next day. And you want to know this because you want to optimize uh, the, the process behind the electricity, the electricity generation. So uh, the first thing I will do is just import the necessary libraries and plot our historical data of demand forecasting. <laughs> yes, of course, why not? So what I'm doing here is basically import some libraries to plot uh, the data set and also authenticate to our TimeGPT uh, endpoint. Uh, so basically, I exported before uh, the talk the TimeGPT token environment variable, and later I will uh, let you know how can you get yours. So right now, I will be loading the historical data, and I will be plotting uh, the time series. Let's see if this works. So basically, we have these uh, four, um, four markets, which basically allows us to know what uh, have been the historical um, behavior of the electricity demand. As you can see, uh, there is a strong seasonality, and this is expected because we can expect that the demand increases, I don't know, maybe in the, during the day, but in the night, uh, the demand will be, will be, will be lower. So uh, we want to create forecast for this, for this uh, electricity demand uh, data set. How can we do that in the old way? So, in order for us to, to, to calculate the forecast, we need, uh, for example, to import the data set, we need to clean the data set, we need to perform hyperparameter uh, uh, hyper optimization, we need to do cross-validation, and uh, all of those steps takes a, long, uh, a lot of time, and you need to have a, a full team of machine learning engineers to maintain that pipeline. Let me show you how that, um, could be in the old way. So you need to, to, to have 100 and more than lines of code. But let's forget that. That's, that's, not, that's not what we want to do. So let's make uh, things simpler. Just call time GPT. Basically, what we did is just call the forecast method or, uh, of our main class. I, I passed the, the data frame of our data set, and I put the horizon I want to, to predict, and finally, I want to visualize the time series. Let's see if this works. Here, um, our SDK is calling our forecast endpoint, and we have the forecast. The, the line that is not blue uh, are, the, are the forecasts generated by, by TimeGPT. And as you can see, TimeGPT uh, produces a really well-behaved uh, forecast. For example, it uh, respects the, the seasonality, even the trend. And I think the, the, the forecast uh, looks amazing. Um, <laughs> Thank you. 
But what about uncertainty estimation? We don't just want to know uh, one, one single future, but we want to know multiple futures. Uh, fortunately, we can do that with TimeGPT. We just need to add one uh, single argument. Let me do that. And this is really interesting uh, because our model is being making inference in a GPU in real, in real time. And uh, just like that, we have uh, prediction intervals for our forecast. And one interesting thing, thing about our deployment is that it's horizontally scalable in the sense that you can uh, uh, call the API multiple times and you will get results as fast as, as, as possible. Um, one of the most, most important things about a uh, time series, one important application, is uh, anomaly detection. We want to detect uh, the days that, for example, uh, does not behave like the, like, like the previous ones. And, of course, uh, with TimeGPT, you can do that, adding, again, just one line of code. Let me do that. Um, another interesting thing about TimeGPT is that this is zero-shot learning. We are not training uh, the model in, in the data set. We are just making inference in a GPU. And just like that, you can visualize the, the, the anomalies detected by, by TimeGPT, just adding uh, another line, line of code. So what we did, we create a full uh, production uh, environment to forecast electricity demand across multiple markets in less than five minutes. And we did it with TimeGPT, and you can see that it is really easy, easy to use. We are really proud of what we, we are doing, and I think this, this is really, really, really amazing. 